UW360 is proudly supported by BECU, a not-for-profit, member-owned credit union. Pacific Office Automation, copy, print, workflow, and IT. Problem solved. Can you say Ron Benzepolo synopsis, Spencer? At two, Spencer's a chatty little guy, but he can't say rhombencephalosynapsis. It's a disorder that makes his brain radically different from most people's. Rhombencephalosynapsis is a rare brain malformation. When we were originally diagnosed, there was supposedly only 50 to 100 cases worldwide. You okay? They didn't know what would happen. Um, worst case scenario, Spencer would not sit up, walk, talk, roll over, feed himself, would never be able to go to the bathroom by himself, would be full care forever. Who's that? Thomas. Is that Dr. Doherty's stethoscope? Dr. Dan Doherty, an associate professor of pediatrics at the University of Washington, diagnosed Spencer. Dr. Doherty studies rare disorders of the cerebellum and brainstem and hunts for the genes that cause them. The focus of my research is on the human hindbrain and malformations of that part of the brain. The human hindbrain is responsible for coordination of movement, uh, for coordination of speech and eye movements, and then also for basic functions like helping us remember to breathe without thinking about it, regulating heart rate, um, and also for coordinating facial muscles and facial sensation. Watch your step. In Spencer's brain, some parts are fused together, others are missing. On the right is a normal cerebellum with the hemispheres and the midline vermis. Um, and what you can also see is a big notch here in the back. And in Spencer's brain, on the left here, vermis is mostly missing. You can see a little bit of it here. And the hemispheres are fused across the midline, and so the folds of the hemispheres go right across the midline. You'll also notice that the big notch in the back is also missing. Dr. Doherty says that right now, there's no way to fix an abnormally formed brain. But once there's a diagnosis, patients can be monitored for medical complications. And there are ways to compensate, including physical therapy. Can I put you down? Yeah. OK. It worked really well for Spencer. By 16 months, he was ready to cruise. His therapist brought him a walker. As she was explaining to me that it might take him some time um, to get used to it, he walked across the kitchen with it. Um, he has never slowed down since then, and it's been great. <laughs> he also talks a lot now. Besides treating patients like Spencer, Dan Doherty and his team search for genetic clues to a number of rare hindbrain disorders. People with Joubert syndrome, for example, may develop blindness, kidney failure, or liver problems. Having a genetic cause can then uh, allow us to perform carrier testing, so we can tell siblings whether they're at risk for having a child with Joubert syndrome. Um, and we can also provide prenatal diagnosis and definitive diagnostic testing. Historically, these rare disorders haven't received much attention because each of them affects so few people. But when combined, they affect up to one in 10 Americans. The research also benefits people who don't have disorders. The other thing that's um, very important about rare disorders is that they tell us about human biology and how humans develop and how they function. New technologies have revolutionized how physicians diagnose rare disorders and conduct research into the genetic causes. The University of Washington Genome Sciences has developed methods uh, to sequence the exome at a low cost and efficiently and very accurately, and this has been a real breakthrough for human disease research. For patients and their families, technology offers connections around the world. Dan put me in touch with a family right away that was local, which was fantastic. We all are on this rhombencephalosynapsis support group. There are people from Germany, Austria, Australia. Because everyone's in such different stages, we help each other, you know, see the similarities. He's going to fix you. <laughs> like I said, I'm not sure you need that much fixing. While there are no cures in sight yet, so understanding the origins of rare brain disorders is the first step in that direction. My goal for Spencer is to follow in Dan's footsteps and to help other people find what's wrong. He's smart enough. He's crazy smart. And as long as he never stops and looks back and just keeps going forward. Good job! Mwah.